Hart. Oh, oh, my God. God. What the? What is wrong with him? What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoon's Delight. So, what another fantastic promo from MJF. Uh, man, he, he was definitely healing it up tonight. He was in full MJF mode tonight. He was definitely healing it up in, in front of that Indianapolis audience. I love it when he tells the crowd when uh, whenever I have a microphone shut up. I know that's hard to do. <laughs> I love that. Then another part of this, he actually talked about his contract, the, the, the big day. I think, I think the biggest day probably after WrestleMania right now is going to be January 1st, 2024. Like, that's going to be a big time in pro wrestling. There's going to be so many rumors popping up next fall about what MJF is going to do. He uh, he already mentioned Nick Khan, uh, Tony's brother, uh, who runs the WWE with Triple H right now. And he mentioned him in the broadcast said Triple B. <laughs> Jolly old Saint Nick. Uh, it, it was funny, man. But, uh... Do I think he's going to move over there? Uh, I think there's a chance. I I, I, I think... <sighs> I don't know. Whatever happens, I think AEW will be okay. I, th I think there's a lot of people out there that feel like AEW can't lose MJF. But I really think that because AEW has so many young stars, I don't feel like they're in a position where they... If they lose MJF, that's it for them. Like, I don't feel like it's like that. I don't think MJF is even on a level of Stone Cold Steve Austin or Rock or even John Cena. I don't even think he's up there just yet. I think he's well known in the industry right now. He will get there one day. I think he'll at least, I don't know if anybody in, it's just hard for anybody to get to like Austin and, and um, Austin and um, The Rock status. But I think John Cena is doable. I think I think a wrestler today could get to John Cena status. Um, do I think anybody will get to John Cena status? I think MJF is probably one of the guys that could get there. But I think AEW has so much young young talent right now that if MJF really decided to leave, I think they'll be okay. What is really important for Tony Khan in the next year, if he loses MJF in 2024, uh, the winter of 2024, this year is very important for him to start building up the other guys under. This is where the guys like Powerhouse Hobbs that I was talking about, Ricky Starks, um, shit, uh, even AR Fox early tonight. I think that's a dude, if he could build guys like this up, other guys who are good on the mic, uh, who need more time on the mic, like Daniel Garcia or Wheeler Yuta. They've got a ton of guys in Warlow. I like, I'm, I'm barely mentioning people like, Shoot, you got Lee Johnson who could still be on the come up. Uh, Lee Moriarty. Um, you know, you still got the elite on the roster right now. I mean, you got you got a you got a locker room full of guys who just need the opportunity. One guy that's been really doing well, but they have to translate it on the TV is Brian Pillman's son, Brian Pillman Jr. If they could just get him some more uh polished in the ring. He's another guy. He's been healing it up on Twitter and stuff like that. If you haven't been following him on Twitter, you need to follow him on Twitter. That's a guy who's got the mic skills to really compete with the MJF. They just got to get these guys on a mic a little bit more and build them up. Look at how they've been building up MJF before he even became this guy. They got to build up some of these other guys, bro. And um, that's going to be very important. But they got a lot of young talent where I think they could survive that. But... I went into a whole thing with that. I was supposed to just get to what happened here. So, MJF started talking to Real Regal, who was in the ring with him. And out of nowhere, he played us, bro, with William Regal. He hits William Regal from behind, and Regal was knocked out cold. Like, William Regal literally didn't move for a minute. It started becoming like a kayfabe moment where you started really believing that uh, the MJF like hit this dude on accident like the wrong way, like because the way the announcers were playing it up and the way they brought out the stretcher, the way they said he wasn't moving, you fought. It was sort of like the Adam Hangman Page injury that we had uh, uh, back in October, where you really didn't know. Okay, was this fake? Was this real? Like, and we learned that it was real. Like, the, he actually had a real legit injury at the point. I think if it was real, I don't think MJF 
leaves the way he did. I think it, I think Tony Khan would have came out there. You would have seen a little bit more seriousness. They might have not even continued the show. So that's when I knew, oh, okay, they're, they're playing this up. But they played it up real well, though. Uh, really got some more heel heat behind MJF. The commentators really sold MJF as, as that heel dude. And then Brian Danielson was out there uh, to kind of care for him where they were bringing him into the uh, onto the stretcher. Then eventually, after the break, they brought him into the ambulance and really made it look super serious because he was even bleeding, too, William Regal. But... uh. They really sold that segment. That was a great segment overall. I'm, I, I love what they did with that. But go on ahead and get this video a like, man. Hit the like button for me. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new in the zoo. Any comments y'all got, definitely put them below. Like, I would definitely like to hear from y'all. Y'all thoughts on this segment and then what y'all thought of what I said about will AEW be okay if MJF leaves? Because I'm, I'm of the real belief that AEW will be okay if he leaves. Because I think they have enough. See, my whole thing is this. It's sort of like WCW. WCW didn't have enough young wrestlers back there that could replace the top guys that they had, those, those older guys that they had at WCW at the time. And so I really feel like if AEW process some of their younger guys well, they can do it. Uh, also, if you want to donate to the channel, hit the super thanks button below. I much appreciate it, you guys. Or hit my cash app that's on the screen right now. Dollar sign second change. You can send any donation to the cash app there. But, uh, yeah, man, this is a terrific segment. I enjoyed it. Um, Dynamite was fire overall tonight. I'm getting ready to go over the women's stuff uh, next. But uh, it, it, it was fire, though. I, I loved it. Let me know what, what y'all thoughts were. Thank y'all for watching. After news, delight.